Hello, this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on which technical indicators give traders an edge. Now, as traders, we all want to be using the best technical indicators for our trading strategies. But of course, the best technical indicator may well depend on the market. It may well depend on our time frames and it may well depend on the actual type of trading strategy. But what I want to look at in this video and also to give a method for how to do it is to look at which of these popular indicators can actually give us a short term edge, if any of them can give us a short term edge in the markets. So I'm looking here at the one of my favorite markets, which is the S&P 500 index, and I've got four popular technical indicators. First of these is the stochastic oscillator, the relative strength index, the MACD, and on the price chart, Bollinger Bands. In this test, I'm going to look at each of these four indicators and I'm going to see whether or not any of them or all of them can give us an edge over what is already happening in the market. Now, no, nobody can do that by, we can't do any analysis just by looking at a chart. We need to do it in, uh, in, in some other way. And the way that I'm going to demonstrate it today is using Microsoft Excel. So I've got here a spreadsheet that I've set up. It's based on a trade informed backtest spreadsheet, which are a way of testing all manner of different trading strategies, um, whatever time frame and whatever trading logic. This is a very good way and an accessible way for traders to do it. There is a link on the screen if you would like more information about trade informed backtest spreadsheets. This particular one that I've got set up here, I've color coded it for easy viewing. Over on the left in yellow is the price data. Now this is the S&P 500. I've got about just under 20 years worth of price data here, and it's on the daily time frame. Technical indicators are here. Again, color coded. I haven't just calculated these today. In fact, I have taken the calculations for each of these indicators from an ebook that I wrote called How to Calculate 21 Technical Indicators, which comes with a free spreadsheet. And all I've done is just copy and pasted the calculations for each of these indicators. It only takes a moment and I pop them in my backtest spreadsheet. So I've got the four of the indicators here and I can scroll further over. We have the calculations for firstly the long trades and then short trades here further over. Now I'm keeping it simple in this test. All I'm looking at is four indicators and I'm only looking at the long side of the market. Now if I click on the next tab, this is the inputs and results tab. I've got lots of different things I can adjust here, capital, leverage, profit target, stop loss, etc. But I'm only interested in this one here, which is the number of bars before the close. And if I set it to one, you can see that the capital and the results adjust. And this is basically saying that once we have an entry signal defined by each of these technical indicators, we will open at the closing price of that bar. The trade will go on for one day and then it will close at the closing price of the following bar. If I change this to two, again the spreadsheet will update and in this case each trade will remain open for two days. I could set it to four, five or ten and in each case the trade will remain open for that length of time. So we have here again color coded some variables for each of the technical indicators 
And I've already done the analysis that I'm going to do and that's shown here on this page, this tab here. And for the stochastic oscillator I used greater than 20 and this means that a trade would be opened when the stochastic oscillator passed from below to above the 20 line. For RSI, I have said that a trade will be opened when the price passes from below to above the 35 line. The MACD, I'm using below to above the zero line. That's across over here like that. And finally, for Bollinger Bands, I'm looking for a cross from below to above the lower Bollinger Band line. For each of these technical indicators, I just use the standard settings. I'm not interested in optimizing this at all. I just want some basic raw data to see if we get any interesting patterns. Well, in fact, I think we did get some interesting patterns with this test, which can certainly be taken further than I've done it. I've used after one bar, two bars and three bars which of course in this case is one day, two day and three day. Stochastic actually showed a net loss for the first two time periods, but then a small gain after the third bar. We can see also interestingly that the win percentage actually increases in what looks like a fairly significant way from below 49% to about 52.9% and then jumps up to just under 60% of all trades were winning trades. Now, of course, if I just flick back here to the results tab, we're dealing with a market that has generally, with two notable exceptions, has generally gone up for most of this time period, which means that, in general, it would have been better to be a buyer of this market rather than a seller over the majority of this 19 year time period. Now I've calculated the total number of days that were higher than the previous days, the previous day, and in fact 53.4% of days closed higher than the previous close. So this is really the marker that we want to be getting better than. If we're below this, it would suggest that the technical indicator may be giving us a worse entry than random. If we're greater than this, we would consider that the technical indicator is giving us a better entry than random. So if I go back to the tables here, we can see that the RSI doesn't really perform at all under this test after one, two and three days. I've not looked any further, maybe it will be improved more after three days, but in fact we're showing a relatively significant loss and a win percentage that is actually worse than random would suggest, even a random entry would be. Looking at the back D, we can see this one's not surprising either, although we are still seeing a loss, it does appear that we are getting an improvement. Now the MACD is slightly different from the stochastic and RSI. It takes a longer look back period and so we would expect it may well take longer than three bars before any advantage that the MACD is giving us kicks in. Now the final one here was the Bollinger Band test and we can see that under the scenarios that I've tested Bollinger Band has performed the best. We can see a steadily increasing net profit. We can see that the win percentage is not changing significantly, but we're actually able to take more profit out of these trades. So there you go. This is a very simple test. This spreadsheet could be used to look at any different market. It could be looking at looked at in much greater depth than I have done here. But I think these results are interesting. If you are interested in this spreadsheet, there is a link on the screen again. You can actually purchase this spreadsheet directly from tradingform.com. And also, if you wanted to go to tradingform.com, there are loads of different resources, lots of different free resources, 
showing how to calculate technical indicators, ideas for trading strategies and about the financial markets in general. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this.